didn't ask Robert Whitaker while we have him on about video games and just about media as a whole. For me, I think one of my favorite fighters when it comes to having an insane taste in video games, whether it's, you know, Bethesda softwares, you know, Fallout or Skyrim. And I know you've been combating jet lag in the five days you've been back. I got to ask Bobby Knuckles himself. Have you been gaming anything different? I know you've got elite taste playing Monster Hunter World while in Saudi Arabia and then talking about even on the MMA arcade, Dragon's Dogma potentially, uh, you know, the <laughs> next game. Talk to me a little bit just about what's Bobby Knuckles up to in the time away uh, from the cage when he's not training? What's the day-to-day -day look like? So between the media, I've been trying to fit in some Dragon's Dogma too. It's uh, started a new game with that. It's it's been fun, just a sword and board dude going around and getting thrown around. It's <laughs> it's, it's been it's been a hoot, dude. Um, but real re realistically, I, I look to take my family away soon. I don't really take video games away with me when I'm when I when I go out to family. Just yeah, we can work it out when we're away. It's holiday, you know, work it out. Absolutely. But I I I intend to do that, so I'm gonna have fun with that. But I'm enjoying Dragon's Dogma two at the moment. Like I, I am. That that's the game that that's the game of the week so far. And uh, yeah, absolutely. And I gotta ask because I know you also brought up Elden Ring and Shadow of the Air Trail. I was wondering if you're gonna be getting on that anytime soon. And I know you talked about the difficulty. Is that something that's on the radar of Bobby Knuckles? Oh, definitely, definitely. It's just it's not right now. Like I've been I've been itching to to do a new run with um with Elden Ring. But I just not right now. I want to. I want to do Dragon's Dogma two right now. That's that's what I'm vibing. And uh, you know, it, it's good to know that I have like the DLC and a full playthrough of Elden Ring available when you know once I've wrapped things up here. No, yeah, absolutely. And I gotta ask you because I feel like when it comes to like I said, game taste. Very few fighters can rival the taste and selection that Robert Whittaker has <laughs> in terms of video games. And on top of that, you know, having a community that's so down with you and what you do, you know, especially even the overwhelming support in finding out on Skyrim that they had a built-in mod that you were in the game itself. <laughs> I got to ask you, you know, when you have a community like the Whittaker family and, you know, the Bobby Knuckles community, how much does it mean to you to see how down the fans are with you, whether it's your taste in games, art, television, even anime, from all different levels of media? What does it mean for you to just have that different medium to kind of share with them? Um, yeah, it means the world to me. Like I said, the the my fan base is is special. Like I I, I think it's the best fan base in the world of all the athletes. So uh, you know I'm very lucky like that because not only do they support me, which you know I. Yeah, it means everything to me, but they have great taste. They have great taste. And to, 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 to have such a fan base with great taste is just the cherry on top, mate.